Hello and welcome to episode 4 in our One Piece Wano Island Let's Play series! Yay! I've been trying to post one video every week just to keep up the consistency because this is a very new channel, but this week was rather tough for me. <laughs> Not only did I move into a new apartment, but I also traveled a few states away to go to a memorial service. Ooh. Needless to say, it was a challenging week. But we made it through and here we are again, so sorry for posting this video a little off schedule. I played a little bit of Animal Crossing this past week. I really just gathered a bunch of items up and threw them down in the places that I would like them to go. So I was thinking maybe in this video we could just keep a cache and put those items out where they're actually supposed to be placed. Okay, now I need to remember what I was planning on actually doing in Baccarat Town because I know at one point in time I did have an idea of what I wanted to do and it's been a few days since then, so I think I wanted this to be the tea house, so let's start putting down items to make it more like the tea house that we see. I'll put an image on the screen here to show you what it's supposed to look like or to remind me also because I definitely need the reminder. And let's just throw down a bunch of items that are related to tea. I think that's pretty solid. Let's open up our island designer app and stretch out this dirt a little farther so we have space to put more items down for the tea house. So like I said in my intro, this past week has been a, a bit of a rough one for me, but I hope that your weeks have been going well this week. It would definitely make me happy to know that somewhere out there in this world, whoever is watching this video, you are having a good time. You are hanging in there, you're doing okay. Today is my first day back and my fiance has been amazing in unpacking stuff around the apartment while I was gone so it was nice to come home to an apartment that was more done, more unpacked, more official. It's crazy to me to think about loss when you think about One Piece because in One Piece there's a never ending meme that nobody dies in One Piece which I fully agree with and stand by. We also do lose a bunch of characters that are super meaningful. Oda really, Oda really puts the feels in there. He makes it tough. You know, One Piece can be such a heart-wrenching story. It wasn't necessarily a death, but the loss that hit me the most in One Piece was when Luffy and all of the escaped prisoners were sailing away from Impel Down and <laughs> Bone Clay stayed behind to open the gates so that they could all escape. Bone Clay made a huge sacrifice. That brought a lot of tears to my eyes. That was that was crazy. All right, this is looking much better. Now we at least have a tea house in Ogobori Town. Now I know I threw some items down in Bakura Town as well, so let's go take a look at that. Oh, really quick, really quick. Look at my. <gasps> Ta -da! Look at my new custom design path that I included here. I think this looks so much better than the other path that I had chosen. I think the other path was just too light of a color against the dark green grass of the springtime in Animal Crossing. This just looks more dynamic. It has the rocks and it has this little, I don't know, this little grassy patch option. I think this looks, this was a well needed upgrade. Oh boy, yeah, I did. I did leave a lot of stuff over here. Let's pick all this up and see what we've got. Okay, a metal pot, cardboard box. Oh, that's right. The Kuro, Kuro, Kuropi? Kuro, Kuro, Kuropi? <laughs> is, that, is that supposed to be a tongue twister? Uh, anyways. Okay, rice cooker, clothesline, fire hydrant. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, okay. I need to take this. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm not taking this. Never mind. Here's my idea. This house is going to be the fire station in Baccarat Town. That's right, because when they light Holdem's house on fire after the sumo <laughs> after the sumo match with Luffy, there's a firehouse that goes to put the fire out. So we're gonna make that today. Let's go customize this stall. Oh. That's right, I wanted to grab the fire hydrant. I am so scattered today. Let's take these items and go customize them to the correct colors to match the firehouse that we're gonna build and then build the firehouse. Do any of you also have One Piece openers constantly stuck in your head running over and over and over again? I'm not complaining about it, 
but I definitely think I have a problem. I don't think anyone knows of this about me yet, and I think I know that because I haven't said it yet, but I actually went to college for music, and you'll probably hear me either humming or singing at some point in time in this series. It's just a matter of whether I gather up the confidence to actually include it in a video, but most of the time when I'm not talking into the microphone, I'm humming or I'm singing One Piece stuff. It keeps my brain going. Brings me lots of joy to, <laughs> to singing and stuff like that. Okay, now that we've got those customized, let's head back and place them. Whoa. Oh my god. A huge bug just flew into my window and, and then flew away. Like, bro, are you okay? Do you need help? Anyways. I have a really hard time not getting sidetracked while I play Animal Crossing, so filming is honestly really difficult for me. I have to stay on track so that the video makes sense. You guys, in essence, you guys keep me together. What should I put on this stall? Did I have anything that was supposed to go here? Let's put the hose reel here. Let's order maybe a bucket of water. I think that'd be kind of funny. What are things that firehouse people use? Ooh, maybe a red cassette player? It's red. I don't know. Firehouses are red. Cassette players are red. That kind of makes sense, right? Oh, first aid kit. That's, that's a good call. Good call. Like EMTs, right? Bucket of water. Oh, maybe a water cooler also would be good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day to get those items in the mail. And I'll meet you right back here. And we're back! I've got all the items that we ordered from Nook Shopping, so now let's open them up and get them placed. Let's throw the water bucket on this side because it's right next to the hose reel. And I really like the idea of the first aid kit, so let's throw the first aid kit here too. Yoink! I was also thinking in one piece they used the ladders to get up Holden's mansion, so let's put out a ladder here as well. I like to be sneaky with my items and fill in every single corner, so let's put a water cooler back here. We can also put a custom design down for a puddle right next to the water cooler. I'm going to leave the space next to the water cooler open so we can put maybe a bush here. I think we're making a lot of progress on this area. The firehouse is looking much better. Alright, after doing a little bit of research, I have discovered that the fire brigade in Bakura Town they are called Igumi Firefighters, and they respond to the fire call at Hold'em's Mansion via the bell, the fire bell. So we're gonna take a look and see if we can find a bell somewhere or a bell item to put out. All right, do we have the nuptial bell? <gasps> we do! It is white, so I think we should go customize it at Reese and Cyrus to make it a different color that maybe doesn't stand out so much. In the One Piece world, the fire bell is actually a wooden tower, so maybe we could customize it to be brown to kind of mimic the wooden tower. Okay, we have white, blue, oh, <laughs> and brown. There we go. Thank you, Cyrus. I think I'm going to put the nuptial bell right here next to the fire. Oh, okay. Let's back it up a little bit. We're going to put the bell right here next to the firehouse so it is loud and clear when there is an emergency. Honestly, I think that's really cute. I know the flowers don't really match on top, but you can actually ring the bell, which is so... <laughs> So cute! And then over here, this is gonna be Hold'em's mansion. I haven't decided yet whether I want it to be on fire or not, so we're just gonna leave this for now. I have decided I am going to make the Paradise Farms back here much, much bigger. So let's grab some of this stuff and start moving it forward. Let me pull up a picture of Paradise Farms for reference to make sure that we get this right. All right, so in chapter 917, it looks like Paradise Farms is gated. There's some sort of really, really big gate to wooden doors that open up and they let out the cart with all of the food on it. As far as I know, in Animal Crossing, there isn't like a huge wooden door gate that I could use to block off this area. So for now, we're just going to throw down this spiky fencing to block it off. This will be a temporary measure to remind myself that this will need to be blocked off in the future. All right, and then in Paradise Farms, there are so many beautiful bridges and waterfalls, and I wanted to mimic that. So we're going to throw this here. We'll put paper lanterns next to this entrance area to kind of frame it a little bit better. And let's throw down some custom design pathing to shape the space. I find that it's easier for me to decorate areas when I have custom design pathing already down. That way I kind of know where I want items to go rather than just throwing down items and then trying to work a path in later. I'm going to put down a general 
idea of what I want the pathing to look like, and then we can always touch it up and make it look better later. I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. I know it's a little different from the previous videos that are a little more, I don't know, a little more organized. Like in the previous videos, we would just decorate a specific area like Okabori Town or Amikasa Village, but today we're kind of just all over the place putting in little designs and decorations here and there. I know it makes the video a little less coordinated, but I appreciate your patience. <laughs> Alright, this is feeling a little better. We have the Igumi Firefighter House here. It's got the ladder, the first aid kit, fire hydrant, hose reel, water, water cooler, and the classic fire bell. It's right across from Hold'em's Mansion, which we will decorate at some point in the future, just not right now. <laughs> I threw down a ton of items in this area because I want it to be very busy since it's the flower capital. There's so much stuff in the flower capital in one piece. Okay, we're gonna have this image of the flower capital up for inspiration throughout this process because the flower capital is arguably the most exciting area to decorate in, a, in this One Piece island. Let's go ahead and collect these items that I've laid out for myself and get started. This first stall we're gonna make is a food stall. It's gonna have lots of tasty treats that you can buy in the flower capital. I ordered lots of balloons with different colors to kind of mimic the many colorful roofs that there are in one piece. It's gonna be tough because I can't place a million houses in the flower capital in my island, so we're gonna have to mimic all of those colorful roofs in some sort of way. And my idea is to place lots of colorful stalls and also balloons everywhere. Okay, I'd say the first stall is looking pretty good. I just wanna grab a couple of flowers to add in. I mean, it's the flower capital. You have to have lots of flowers. All right, let's showcase the flower capital so far. We have our first vendor right up front here. He's got a little cooking area back here. And then if we scooch even back farther, we've got a little loading area with all of his supplies. To recap, today we decorated some of the flower capital. We got started on the tea shop in Okabore town. And we added in the firehouse for the Igumi firefighters in Bakura town. Once again, thank you so much for joining me in this Wano Let's Play series. I hope you enjoyed episode 4 today. I know it was a little bit scattered compared to the previous videos, but you know, I hope, you, I hope you're patient and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, let me know. If you did, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. For the next video, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing on the island, but I would definitely love to talk about the chapter that just came out, 1087. It was so hype. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.